Good morning class. Today is Wednesday, April 15th. So I hope before this video you watched our movement video where we did the wheels on the bus. So now let's get ready for morning circle. So get those hands ready. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Good job, you guys. So now let's sing who's here today. Mikey's here today. Mikey's here today. I'm so happy that Mikey's here today. Reese is here today. Reese is here today. I'm so happy that Reese is here today. Hunter's here today. Hunter's here today. I'm so happy that Hunter's here today. Tommy's here today. Tommy's here today. I'm so happy that Tommy's here today. Yay! We have four friends again. Let's take our bears out. We have one, two, three, four. Four bears. Hmm. Now let's go sing what the weather. What's the weather? And see what the weather is outside today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is there snow? Or is there sun? What's the weather? Let's go check outside. Hmm. It looks like it's cloudy and sunny again, so partly cloudy. So that means we gotta get out our cloud again. Can you guys say cloudy? Cloudy, good job. We also gotta take out our sun, which says sunny. Can you guys say sunny? Good job. So today's weather is partly sunny. Good job. So today I'm going to read There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. Do you think old ladies or anyone in general can swallow flies? Or do you think animals can? Hmm. I think that animals are the only ones who can really eat flies. Kind of like frogs. Flies are part of their food. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly when what would appear but a cat. The cat was quite rude and wanted some food. So gobbled, so the cat, so gobbled the old lady's hat. So the cat ended up gobbling up and eating the old lady's hat. And look at the cat. Can you guys say cat? Cat? There was an old lady who needed her hat when what should appear but a goat. Can you guys say goat? Goat. He was after a snack as he rushed up to the track and swallowed the old lady's coat. Now the goat was hungry and ate the old lady's coat. There was an old lady who felt rather cold. And what should appear but a fox? Can you guys say fox? He wanted a meal, so he ran at her heels. He gobbled the old lady's socks. That's funny that a fox would eat socks. There was an old lady with icy cold feet. When what would appear but a pig? Can you guys say pig? P -p -p pig. When what should appear but a pig? He needed to eat, so he ran down the street and nibbled the old lady's wig. 
So the pig ate the old lady's wig. That's silly. There wasn't an old lady who shouted, Enough! I'll find something else you can chew. So she got out a pot, and then like a shot, she made them a huge yummy stew. And you can see that cat bowl. Can you guys say cat? Can you guys say go? Go, 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 go. Can you guys say fox? Fox. Can you guys say pig? P -p -p pig. Good job. And look at the old lady made some stew and food for the animals. Does the old lady look happy or mad? What do you think that face looks like? To me, she looks very mad because all the animals kept eating all her clothes. On the back of the book, it says there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. But in this book, the animals are hungry too. Join, join them all in this hilarious twist on the tail with giant mouths and funny felt teeth. So this is a great book because it's very touchy and feely. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. These are one of my favorite books, the Old Lady series, because they're so funny. So today for an activity, I pre-planned for the kids that usually come on Wednesday. So the activity we're doing is making our own umbrella. So I cut out the top of the umbrella and the handle that attaches to it. So the children can color the umbrella whatever they want. They can color, paint, decorate the umbrella however they want to decorate it. And if you're not part of the kids that usually come once they want to do the activity, you can. I would love it. So all you need is a white piece of paper, draw the umbrella and cut it out, and then cut out either... I can, using construction paper, you can use white paper again and cut out the little handle. Kind of looks like a J. It goes J. And you can attach that to umbrella, the umbrella and have the kids color or paint it like I just said. It's a nice easy activity that you can always do at home too. And like I said in my other videos, I'd love to see pictures. So please send me pictures of the children's activities. I love to see how they come out, especially these ones that they can be very creative with and make their own designs because no umbrella will be the same. So thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.